<laughs> and then he was like, oh, come on, how can you be gay? Femme lesbian struggles. <laughs> <laughs> totally. I'm so glad we're all lesbians here. Well, almost. What do you mean? Gabby is bisexual. No, she has a girlfriend. Yeah, and we all went to that lesbian ceramics making class together. And she used the same clay modeling bullnose texture tool like the rest of us. I don't know. She says she's bisexual. Should we ask her? Is it rude? No, I think we should do it. Uh, yeah, I identify as bisexual. Why? Uh, I guess because I'm into all genders. Was it a childhood thing? I was interested in both Barbie and Ken. So, in order to be bisexual, it has to be 50% men, 50% women. Not really. Uh, it's more like four Barbies, two Kens, and then like three Barbies with the hair cut off. We've never heard this bisexual thing from you before. Yeah. Prove it. Yeah. Okay. Well, we already know about the Barbie and Ken and shaved Barbie thing. <laughs> yes, all the genders. That's great. All the genders? What? Okay. In seventh grade, I was in a play where a girl had to yell at me while a boy held my arms behind my back, and I thought, tight. In ninth grade, Ryan Saluski and Claudio Palazzullo started dating, and when I saw them kiss in the hall, I shoved them. Slash fan fiction about Lex Luthor and Superman. Then Hannah Murphy and I slept in the same bed for all of summer camp the next year. Whenever we would brush shoulders, my feet got sweaty. Is that a bi thing? In college, a male and female friend high fived each other when I told them I was bisexual. We were on a boat. What's the boat have to do with it? After college, I learned that there were more than two genders. That was the best news I had heard all year, and that was the same year my book became a New York Times bestseller. Then I started dating masculine women and feminine men and non-binary people who wear Hawaiian shirts and long shorts with carabiners, and now we're here. Bisexual. We have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> She actually means it. Can we trust her? Is she a devil agent? We met her with her girlfriend. How could she not disclose this to us? I wonder if she's even told her girlfriend. Probably not. I mean, they're still together. She's like a blood blood. That's just Harry Potter's way of addressing racism. Really? Yeah. We all knew that. Oh, hey, can we get the check? Oh my god. She's into guys. Her brother's a guy. My dad's a guy. I don't know any guys. Our waiter is a guy. You don't think she'd try anything? <sighs> so, Gabby, how was your time alone with the waiter? He just ignored me. This restaurant is not good. See, she wants to float with the waiter. Yeah, that's because all bisexuals are cheaters. This tracks. I really just want to make sure we don't split the check evenly like last time when Amy's had four mimosas. Gabby, we've spent the last few moments processing our feelings and we just really wanted to create a safe space where we could discuss something that we just learned about you. Oh, okay. I know what this is about. You do? Is this about how I failed to flag down the waiter because I intentionally avoid conflict? Still talking about the waiter, I see. Speak of the devil. Hey, you're bisexual? Yeah. Nice. Me too. <laughs> I can't be bisexual. You are good, man. Are you one of those funny men? Man, that's so funny, though. Can we get the fucking check? <laughs>